How are you today, Courtney? It's a pleasure I'm, to meet you. It's James from Masami. It's so nice to meet you. How are you? I'm superb. I'm really well, considering everything that's going on around us on a daily basis now and how we, uh, how we all need to rise to this incredible challenge and to uh, share with each other and be able to partner and to be able to move through this time together in a much more cohesive and uh, communicative and socialized manner so we can all take care of ourselves down the road and hopefully get to a reopening re of, <laughs> of, of, our, of our entire beauty industry in the salon world. So it's a pleasure to meet you, Courtney. And you're based in Boston with Spoken Wheel, correct? Uh, yes, um, I'm in Boston. I was in the New York uh, City location, but I moved up here about a year ago to help them kind of get the Boston salon um, up and running. Right. And uh, so tell me something really kind of important is how has your mood been these days with since the, the onslaught of coronavirus and what it's done with regards to disruption to your salon uh, businesses and uh, to your daily lives. How are you doing? Um, I'm doing well. Um, you know, it varies day to day. I think um, anyone I've talked to is kind of you go to, you know, you, everything feels normal and then all of a sudden you feel really bad and kind of confused as to what's going on. Um, so um, just trying to stay positive, I think, is the biggest thing for me and also for um, my fellow spoken wheel um, co-workers, but um, also just like finding little pieces of joy in the day that can, you know, bring your spirit up and just try to try to get through it. <laughs> right. And um, just often just taking care of each other and trying to encourage and uh, talk to each other and support, right, on many levels. Um, exactly. Do you... Um, do you think uh, that uh, the salons and the salon industry is going to or is right now innovating during this COVID-19 era that we're in in order to reopen? Uh, and how, how are you at Spoken Wheel innovating with your customer uh, in order to do that as well as within your own shops to prep yourselves for a, for a reopening? Um, yeah, absolutely. I think, um, you know, the last day I worked, um, it, I will come back and it will be different. Um, and that's definitely something to kind of, it's hard to wrap your head around. Um, you know, uh, we are offering virtual consultations right now. So with, um, you know, new clients or even existing clients coming back in. Um, so that's been great. Um, you know, outreach that way, um, I think has helped also guests just feel connected. We were used to seeing each other every, you know, four or five weeks sometimes. That's hard. It's like missing a friend. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, we're also doing um, tutorials. Like I know a lot of, um, especially cut specialists, if, if a guest has a fringe and they just can't deal with it, you know, they're doing FaceTime, um, guiding them along, you know. <laughs> um, a little harder to do with color, but I have, you know, spoken to guests like, all right, you got to, you know, apply it there. Um, <laughs> um, and then also doing virtual classes. So Spoken Will, we've been doing, um, you know, mastery courses and, um, you know, we're spread out all over the country. So, you know, we're all on a Zoom and there's like 120 people and, you know, but we're all connected and trying to really, you know, stay engaged during this time, I think is super important. So. Absolutely. Very important to be, be able to stay engaged and also focused on the evolution of where we're going to go. Um, and uh, it's wonderful that you guys are doing so many videos and tutorials. Um, mm -hmm. Are you also sending clients, you know, uh, color care packages like to help them at home to do the roots and things like that or are you or, or are you not doing that and just advising them at home to use existing existing tools that they have for their color just curious right um so we have not yet but that is something that we are 
taking steps to do. Um, we're just being compliant with um, the specific states and governments um, in terms of curbside pickup for essentially retail or products. So um, we are actually working on that. Um, right. And it will be something that we will offer to guests um, going forward in our specific locations. S superb. Um, so what is your best at home hair tip? Could be color. What is your <laughs> tip well, when I was thinking about this, I was like, my first tip is don't color your hair at home. <laughs> um, that would be my number one tip as a colorist. Um, <laughs> um, but kind of something in terms of styling is um, I've been kind of trying out things that I wouldn't have felt comfortable to do if I was going into the salon, if I was nervous about trying a new style. So I've kind of like talked to certain friends about, you know, really utilizing uh, YouTube or Instagram and like trying a half up, half down, you know, bun. If you're like, I don't want to try that out and be nervous, it's going to look bad, you know? <laughs> um, or braiding or anything like that um, has been great because I've been not uh, drying my hair with a dryer. I've been trying to just, you know, no oh, heat. Dry. Yeah, That's I think great. embracing your natural texture, playing with different styles, I think is perfect. It's a perfect time for that right now. So, yeah. So what do you, um, what do you miss the most out of uh, not being able to be in the salon? Oh, I miss everything. I miss doing color. I miss feeling creative in that way and using my hands um, every day. I miss my guests. I miss, you know, being able to hug them and be like, how are you? And, you know, just kind of catching up that way. Um, the human touch. Yeah, I miss connection that way. I miss, um, I miss my coworkers. I miss, you know, feeling exhausted at the end of the day, you know. Yes, yes exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I miss exactly. my feet hurting. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't my feet hurting today? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I mean, I, I miss it so much. And I'm really, you know, even though it'll look different, I'm so excited to get back and, and um, connect, even if, it, if it's a little different. That's fantastic. Well, I really appreciate this opportunity to share with you and for you to share with me all about everything that's happening today with regards to your spoken wheel enterprise and i really hope that um you're able to open in the couple of the locations soon that are in states that are beginning to open up and um what we will do is we'll revisit this scenario in a month or so and just tune back in with you and see how we are and to see the progress um which i'm i really believe there will be a lot of progress in a month or a month and a half um, so thank you, Courtney, very much. And it's a real pleasure uh, to uh, collaborate and partner with you guys and to meet you. Uh, I'll meet you in person sometime soon. Yes, yeah, sounds okay. good. I really appreciate you taking the time. Thank you so much. It's from here. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Have Thanks. a really good weekend. You as well. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye.